So now let's talk about what's known as the nicotine trick and the real effect of nicotine on the body. The effect of nicotine is when you feel, when your attention is brought to that kind of uh, uneasiness in your solar plexus, in your stomach, in your midsection of your body. And it's this uneasiness, this anxious, this tense feeling that a smoker misreads as being their stress response, as in, I'm feeling stressed, I'm frustrated, I'm getting annoyed, which it absolutely is that. And because of our history with cigarettes, the way that they've often been represented to us over the years, whether that's in movies or television or even by family members or friends who say they smoke because they are stressed, that feeling creeps up and the smoker goes, oh, I don't like this feeling and reaches for another cigarette with the belief that it will calm them down. And when they have another cigarette, all that happens is that cycle of feeling that tense, anxious stress is basically restarted again. And this cycle starts each and every morning when you woke up and had that first cigarette. Now you need to know that nicotine actually only exists inside your body for around five hours. So that means when you go to bed, and you sleep for about eight hours, you wake up as a non-smoker. That means there's no more nicotine in your body. And with no nicotine in your body, it's not having an effect anymore. And it's with that first cigarette in the morning that your body goes back into that cycle. And what it does, as I've mentioned before, if you've watched my other video, you are not addicted to cigarettes. If you haven't, watch that i do recommend that you go back and watch that thing it's over on my facebook page or youtube it's your body's response to that behavior as you take that cigarette to your lips that first inhalation your body releases endorphins and then what happens of course when you've taken that inhalation you're also inhaling the nicotine now the nicotine does not relax you in any way shape or form it's the endorphins that you naturally release that relax in you the nicotine actually causes this feeling of tension this anxiety that i was talking about earlier and the endorphins end up masking this feeling and so the interesting thing is is that endorphins wear off they wear off before the effect of the nicotine does that means that when the endorphins wear off it means that you then feel the effect of the nicotine inside the body, which is what we feel is that anxiety, that tension, which means you've then reached for another cigarette to again, to try to attempt to calm the tension and the anxiety, which you now know is the effect of the nicotine. And so there you were just restoring that cycle over again. And that cycle continues to make people feel disempowered they continue to feel control they continue to feel stressed anxious unwell low mood low energy unable to do what they really want to do in life unable to be free the way they want to be can't afford to do what they want to do in life so as you've gathered this is a pretty nasty scheme to be involved in which you could think of it as a nasty scheme of the tobacco industry to keep you stuck, to keep you stuck in that old habit. And here we are with a new modern way of inducing the habit with vapes, electronic cigarettes, which bizarrely enough look like highlighters and pens. So you have most of the young people can easily vape in school. They can have one in the pocket, in the pencil case, and no one's none the wiser. It's all designed to keep you in the cycle and to keep you handing over your money over and over. That old ha habit that's not getting you anywhere, that's making you feel bad. And the thing is, is cigarettes and vapes cause all of the anxi anxiety and more than, than you actually think that they alleviate. If you think about it, you'll realise that it's the anxiety that's produced by that little bit of a moment of relaxation, whether it was on your smoke break or 
with that coffee first thing on a morning. That anxiety is produced by just the feeling of nicotine being in the body. That's the effect that the nicotine has. It produces that anxious effect, that weird feeling, that tense, stressy feeling that we call cravings, that you can feel. And of course, on top of that, there's of course the health issues that stress you out. Also, perhaps a feeling of feeling like a social outcast. There's the stress of worrying that you stink of smoke, so you top up on supplies of chewing gum and sprays. Just the fact of being a smoker is stressful for most people. In the world that we live in right now, it's just a major inconvenience, particularly when you want to go places or be with people who are non-smokers. All of that is a cause of major stress as well. Smoking causes much more stress than it actually alleviates. And it's the prime cause of stress in your life right now. And you might begin to wonder, or even possibly imagine what it might be like if you can find something in your life, something that could fulfill that same positive intention that we think we get from smoking, that relaxation perhaps. Now it could be some sort of ritual that you begin to do each day, such as exercising, breathing exercises. It could be doing something like yoga, maybe going for a walk, meditation or perhaps baking, singing, skipping, whatever it is that it's suited to you or it could be simply just doing nothing, absolutely nothing and that could be a very nice way to relax and maybe the only reason you haven't done that already is because you haven't found something that can work for you, that works faster, that works better than any kind of tobacco and maybe when you discover what it is for you it might just change your life completely because that thing whatever it is for you that you might discover very very soon it can fulfill that positive intention if your positive intention was to relax. I work with people who used to use cigarettes to help them relax and I can tell you there are many other things that you can do instead to relax. There are many things that I can teach you how to relax that work so much better, so much faster that instead of pulling you down and making you more unhealthy, it's building you back up so that you can get better and better every single day. This is all about the nicotine trick how you rob yourself of being in control, your self-worth, your confidence, how you rob yourself of a long and healthy life. And the reason you continue is only because you weren't aware of the way that you could meet that same need, but in a much more positive, healthy way. And you weren't aware of the real effect of nicotine, of the real effect of those cigarettes the response. And when you look into a better way to get everything that you thought smoking gave you in the past, then you'll really, really have those things that you want in your life. And you'll be feeling better, stronger and fitter, more of the time, more in control, happier, healthier every day. Because the fact that you're watching this video means that you are ready to end this cycle for good. Simply head over to youtubecoaching.com as soon as you join the program, I'll send you some brief forms to fill in as that's going to help me to help you get the best out of this process and we'll get started on your smoke-free journey right away. I'm Amy Cinnamon. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you very soon.